going on y'all it's your girl of beers and i'm back with yet another video i'm tired of saying that intro like i need to find something else to say but anywho i'm back and in today's video i am going to get right into it we are going to be talking about my maintenance for my quick weed and any of your human hair that you're buying your expensive bundles you know whatever maintenance that you would do to keep those um in good condition you want to do the same thing for the duration of your quick weed with your master mix and human hair blend so i'm here to share with you my way that i keep mine um fresh and together so we're gonna get right into that but you already know i have to do my due diligence don't forget to comment like and subscribe share and also turn your notification bell on so you don't miss an upload from your girl now let's get to the business all right so i have this on because of course I mean, I could have set up and I mean, it wasn't really nothing like I was just really washing, washing, but I just kind of because my this is a lace closure. So I had is somebody knocking at my door. <laughs> I was just straight being nosy, but um, anywho, yeah, so like I was saying, I just took some shampoo, uh, to be exact, I used the Head and Shoulders Dandruff Control Shampoo, and I just took a little bit of that and put it on a washcloth and went through and washed right around the perimeter of my hairline where I have been applying the glue and the beeswax and um it got to me where it was kind of cakey so I wanted to remove that and then I went right behind that and used alcohol to wipe the lace down there's still a little bit of residue but it's nothing like how it was to begin with so we're in good condition to continue on of course the sides and everything are bonded down with just normal bonding glue so don't have to worry about any of that we're just strictly doing this perimeter here and like i said we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into that and then we're going to do our um hair maintenance so what i'm going to start out with first is what did i do with this i have this little um asia luxury wig fashion absolute lace wig bond there's so much going on outside right now like i don't even understand <laughs> i don't even understand what is going on like lord have mercy so i'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that out i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of you are i should have got smaller clips but <clears throat> this will work Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna take a little of the Murray's um, beeswax because it seems to work really well and I don't really want it to be like hard, hard. So it works well with the got to be spray. So just take it and rub it in my fingers like so and apply it to the little baby hairs. Still keeps the hair soft and manageable. And you won't have to be worried about your hair caking up too quick. So this is, is this week two of my, of this quick week? I believe it is. This is week two. I'm gonna go back in with a little more of the that to be spray. And I'm going to take my brush and just mold while I'm doing it. I'm going to put some Murray's around my little small edges that are out. them back and now I'm just going to whip these little baby hairs around I just keep my hair plaited up in three plaits as you can see one two three I just keep it plaited up and literally in the mornings or whenever I get um, ready to leave I just take the plaits down And I always use a wide tooth comb. You pick these up from your local beauty supply. So this is the texture of it when I take it out of the plaits and I just comb through it. As you can see, it's very manageable. So like around your second week or so, you will start to notice that your ends are starting to get a little bit rough. That is the synthetic hair showing its true colors. But to me, it just feels like a yakky, you know, a yakky hair. 
So it's not that. And then I go through and I kind of trim the ends off a little bit, whichever ones are the roughest, but it is super soft. Like you see, I'm just running my hands through it, no problems. I was combing it without any type of tangling or shedding, like there's nothing. There's nothing in the comb. This one little bit itty strand. I mean, you can't even see that. It's like a piece of lint. So I don't really experience a lot of shedding unless I just absolutely don't do anything to it, which is never the case. So my ends are a little ragged, a little rough. So all that I do, two simple steps as far as products are concerned. Um, I typically use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Mousse, but I don't have any more. Um, so I'll just be using a Nairobi and I'll be going in with a little bit of tea tree oil. Literally, when I was first, let me see, when I did my video last year, when I first applied my, um, when I first was working with this hair and I watched some YouTube videos and they said the way to maintain a master mix blend was to use a fabric softener. And I did that and everything I wore, I literally wore my quick weave last year from December until February something. So I wore it for like two and a half months. So I was able to maintain it very well and I didn't put anything in it other than the fabric softener. But this time around, I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna do something different, you know, because I got color in it and I just feel like it needs a little bit more than fabric softener. So I've been using the mousse and the tea tree oil and literally this, when my hair is grown out and was long, this is the exact texture that my hair is. It's kind of, it's, my hair is super thick when it grows out, my natural hair. And literally, I work with this the same way I work with my natural hair. So, I just put a little bit of this in my hands, run it through. And I do this mainly just for the upper part of the hair and then I take about five or six drops, rub that in my hands and then I rub it into the ends real good. So as you all can see, really nice. I got some tangles up at the top from like when I applied the quick weave and some of the hair got glued down. But and I'm just going to go in and trim off some of these edges. That I feel like are a little ragged and stuff. Now, we are off to a fresh start. And I literally take it and I plait it up and I go about my day but I think I'm gonna put some flexi rides in it for a little while and if you want to see my flexi ride video then I do have a video for that I'll link my videos 
in a card up top or something so that you all can see how I apply my quick weave and also how I flexi ride my quick weave. Um, so I do have videos on that, so I won't go into detail about that. I just wanted to come on and share with you all the maintenance of my hair so i just literally work one plait at a time that's why i keep everything in three plaits so that i don't have a lot of hair to deal with um yeah so that's it like i said i'm gonna put some flexi rods in it and go about my day and that'll be it so thank you all for watching i told you i wasn't gonna hold you long i will see you all in my next one Peace. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to jump back on here and share with you all that you can curl this hair. Um, I know that's a big misconception with a lot of uh, mixed uh, human hair synthetic blends that you can't comb it, or I mean, that you can't uh, curl it with heat, but you can. You don't just have to use um, the plaiting method or flexi rods. You can use a flat iron or curl one or whatever your choice may be. But just, I typically just keep it around 400 or like 375, but if yours have like numbers, like one, two, three, I keep it like around three and a half, four maybe. Because that this Remington, it gets pretty dang hot. So, I've already applied my oil and everything, and I just like to take pass through it a few times before I actually wrap the hair just to kind of get things flattened out. And I just hold it there for a few seconds. As you can see, I've already done this side. It's really nice and soft and shiny. As if it was just 100% human hair, you know, whatever your, your choice of texture is. And it, the texture that I always get is body weight. So I typically don't even have to do anything with mine the entire time. It's just by choice and preference. If you wanna straighten it out or if you wanna add curls to it, but I do. So that is her, and this is the natural way that it came with it, as you can see the body way. It's just a little bit looser, and that'll fall back and be just as loose. I'm just showing you that you can use heat. If you decide that you want to straighten it out, or if you buy the straight and you want to curl it, you can do as such. So. 
just going to wrap and roll. Wrap and roll. So this middle part is popping. The lace is popping. You know, it's really nice lace to be a $24.99 bag of hair. And with that hair, you get three bundles and the closure. I think that was $27.99 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. That is that. I didn't really want the curls to be too um, tight. I'm going to apply my um flexi rod anyway so i just wanted to share with you that you could um, that was my hope so yes y'all i'll see y'all in my next video bye